folks as we go through. I'm going to pick my working team if we can do this now. So, you know, food service is a big industry for you guys. Restaurants, hospitality, hotels, big industries for you. Healthcare, big industry. Look, can I use an example of one that you guys may have sold? And let's take a look here and say, if I'm going to weave a web of influence, multiple people, I can use this in two areas. I can use this for retention, existing customers. I also can use it for new business. So let's go through today. Give me an example of who are some of the titles that I call on at, a, at one of our clients. Give me some of the titles of people that I call on. Maintenance. CFO. CFO at Arkin as well? Who else? Arkin. Oh, no, that, for you guys, I'm just talking about oh, right now. QA, QA quality. QA, right? And, yeah. and so, so if I look at that, let's just take those three as an example. So today, if I have a certain point of contact today, of these three, which would be my primary position? Who would I call on first if everything was equal? So this is the user level, is it not? Yes. This is the people that, that, that affects them day to day. Right. But others are influenced by that as well. Right. So if I look at being able to weave a web, so I say, well, I'm going to talk to maintenance. What's an issue they may have today? So maybe they've got pest issues, maybe they've got infestation, maybe they've got unhappy guests. Not likely. So if I can understand the dollar impact to them, the dollar, how much it costs them to have unhappy customers, unhappy guests. And I say, okay, besides maintenance, who else is impacted? Well, QA, QC, so I have to, how are they impacted? I now have more points of contact. Then I say, well, who else is impacted? Well, the CFO. Right. Because profitability and cash flow and other things are there. If I start to understand how I touch all these particular areas, I've increased my web. My stickiness with that account has increased. So if I use that example, if the middle person were to leave, the QAQC person, I still have a relationship with maintenance right on the ground. Right? I have the CFO who has great confidence in us as well. Now, no matter who gets slotted in there, isn't there a likelihood I've got somewhat of a safety net? that if I didn't have the safety net, the new person came in would buy from the relationships that they were comfortable buying. How many times does that happen to us? In business, that happens a lot. You know, that's the whole part why we build these relationships. Because I know if you go someplace else, there's a good chance I'm going to get a phone call. You with me? Okay. So.